first trailer for the new David O. Russell film, Joy, has hit the web. The film stars Russell's Silver Linings Playbooks cast of Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, and Robert De Niro, and is described as follows. Joy is the story of a family across four generations and the woman who rises to become founder and matriarch of a powerful family business dynasty. The story is inspired by the life and times of inventor entrepreneur Joy Mangano, creator of, in- creator of ingenious designs with over $1 billion in sales, as well as inspired by elements from the lives of other historic business pioneers. Schnepp, what did you think of the trailer for Joy? I loved it. It definitely had that uh, a Russell flavor to it. It had it just uh, it was great to see all those cast members from uh, Silver Linings Playbook back in, in, together again. And uh, I'm really intrigued. I mean, I, I like the way he puts together his trailers because it doesn't tell you too much about the movie, but it gives you just enough where you're like, I cannot wait to see this. So I cannot wait to see this film. So 100%. I cannot wait to see this film, but the trailer did literally nothing for me. Like I, it, because the the description that Sinead just wrote, just read to us, is like, okay, it's got David O. Russell. It's got the same stars from Silver Linings Playbook. It's this cool story about this entrepreneur uh, named Joy. Movie's called Joy. That's all I needed to know. And then you just show me all these random scenes, and it's just like it didn't look like anything. I, I didn't get anything out of it. I understand nothing about the story. I just know the famous people that are going to be on screen in this movie. I'm not a huge fan of that Rolling Stones song. You can't always get what you want. <laughs> I understand it's a great I think, tune. I it think therein lies right. the hatred, Ellis, is, <laughs> is just, the song. Because they the trailer for me, it, it says, here's what your life is supposed to be. It's like a storybook. And then here's what your life really is, a series of strange, horrible things happening. And that's what I got out of it. But. Yeah, I, I didn't get that out of it. Oh, but maybe I was just Just watching, that hating. M- maybe watching on your phone isn't the best way to watch a trailer. <laughs> but I just didn't care about the trailer. I care about the movie, not the trailer. See, this trailer is a perfect example of this phenomenon. A number of years ago, um, some, there was a trailer came out, and I can't remember what the movie was for, and everybody raved about it. And I remember somebody said to me once, okay, John, watch that trailer again. But at the end, instead of the words, and I can't remember who the director was, but it was a very respected director. At the end of the trailer, instead of the words directed by whatever came up, what if it said directed by Michael Bay? Would you still see, would you still see the trailer the same way? And I went, you know what? I looked at it again. I probably wouldn't. I, I would probably be seeing the Bayisms in it, and I'd be complaining about it. And I think a lot of people would complain about. It. This is one of those types of trailers where, if the opening thing was, um, you, know, you know, directed by M. Shamhammer, you know, if that M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> came up, and then I saw that trailer, what I would be seeing is this is just a random you know, sequence of graphics and images being thrown up with an odd selection of a soundtrack. And this was nonsense. But because it's David O. Russell, and it because it's this cast, I expect a certain level of depth. So when I look at the trailer, I see that depth. So my experience watching the trailer, having already known it was David O. Russell. And look, David O. Russell, by the way, is one of the most underrated directors going right now. We never talk. When, whenever conversations come up about who are some of the best directors working today, the name David O. Russell does not come up. But all this guy does is crank out excellence. Every single film he does cranks out excellence with multiple Academy Award nominations for him and his actors that he directs. It's incredible. So knowing that, I watched that trailer and I saw what you pointed out, which I thought was perfect. It sets up this thing about there's a fairy tale about what life is supposed to be and then the harsh realities of what that life is all coming in and intertwining. And I thought on that level it was great, but I fully admit, if that said, brought to you by Michael Bay at the beginning, I would have seen random images with bad song selection. I, I, have, to, I have to argue that point. Look, I'm saying for me. No, but I, I, it's, a, it's a great thing, a great analogy, but why I liked it specifically is because I could see Russell's shot selections. I, he's, yeah. he's a director that I've seen enough of his films now that I'm used to like, oh, that's a tracking shot. That's the way he does a tracking shot. It's different than the way Martin Scorsese does a tracking shot. Directors all have different subtleties. And the shot selections therein from that trailer not only are very similar to the shot selections from uh, Silver Linings Playbook, but a lot of his other films. So, I mean, if you put M. M. Night Shyamalan's name up there and you see, sh- saw those same images, not only would it be like, wow, that's going to be an amazing film. It's a comeback for M. Night. I would also say it looks like he's taking some uh, tips off of some of these other directors because his style's changed. Because he doesn't, M. Night doesn't do shots like that. I mean, I'm just saying, like, from someone who, like, looks specifically at composition and shots, 
I could tell different directors. So if Michael Bay's name was on there, I'd be like, wow, it's not a Michael Bay film <laughs> at all. <laughs> see, well, I, and I yeah. would, but I'm, I'm glad you see that because I, I would, yeah. I'm, I'm dumb. I saw it the other way. Uh, let me just quick question though. Favorite David O. Russell film? Uh, Three Kings. Mm, I'd probably go The Fighter. Uh, if I had to off the top of my head, um, because that, that movie encompassed everything that, that guy's really good at, American Hustle. I thought it was really good, but I think some people were disappointed by it. I don't know that it was an Academy Award-level film. Silver Linings Playbook is also way up there for me, too. Right. So uh, I hope this movie's good. I just Maybe this trailer was like a magic eye painting that you used to see at the mall. I just need to stare <laughs> at it for longer, and this brilliant piece of art's going to come out. But I don't like that Rolling Stones song. Sorry. Uh, the... Uh I think I Heart Huckabees is a very underrated oh, film. I Heart Huckabees is amazing. But I also got to go with the I go with the fighter. I love the fighter.